Alrighty guys, welcome back to another episode. Um, I wanted to jump on and talk about some of the top five recession-proof stocks that you guys should be buying um, right now. So looking at just the general market, we've seen so much sell-off over the past couple of days. Uh, you'll notice we have the S&P 500 that was trading for about 8400 Right now it's at $3,700, which is crazy. Now this is about a 23% sell-off from all-time highs. Now. Personally, I think there there's several several different approaches you guys can have. First one being just holding, not even doing anything, not even doing any buying, selling, or anything like that. Just hold. If for all the people that would have held through 2008 or 2020 or 2001, you you're up handsomely on your investment. You just have to have a long term outlook for for this. So for me, that's the first first approach. Second approach, just buy as much as you can. You know, buy growth stocks, ETFs, index funds, you know, buy companies that you guys believe in. Um, it's, it's really not about quantity, it's about quality. You know, those high quality stocks such as like Apple, such as Tesla, such as, you know, all those fantastic companies that are not going anywhere. The third approach is to do a little bit of everything, right? Continue to hold continue to buy a little bit but then also have a little bit of some defense right a little bit of some stocks that do decent in ups and down uh, in the economy so the first stock here that I would recommend would be waste management now this is ticker symbol WM now you will notice that this one here it has hasn't really sold off that much right we have some highs here at about hundred and sixty nine dollars sold off to 145 right that's about a seven percent sell off comparing it to the market which has sold off 22 percent this for me is an absolute no-brainer right we still have that upward trend for the year so we're going to be getting some decent growth and looking at the dividends 65 cents a quarter can't go wrong with that now this one here is a perfect stock that i would highly recommend does do great on earnings and everybody needs to get rid of trash and sewer and stuff like that and that's really where they focus on now the next one here is j and j j and j is johnson and johnson so very very similar chart beautiful upward trend looking at their dividend a dollar and 13 cents earnings very very well on their on their last earnings and on top of this um, I definitely think right now we're on some sort of support. So meaning that this is when this stock has a tendency to get some buying pressure from there. So for me, absolute no brainer, buy as much as you can. Now, the last one here, the last one that I'm personally buying almost as a defense um, in my portfolio here is KO. Now KO is Coca-Cola. And if we look at it, this stock does not move as much. It doesn't have as much growth. But this one here is stable. This is a, it's a value company, so it's not gonna be getting high growth, high returns. It's gonna be a stock that just slowly continues to work its way up. Now looking at it, this is a dividend king, so it's been paying dividends for more than 50 years and good earnings. And, and they've just done very, very well over the past year. So I definitely think we'll see a lot of continuation. Um, but overall, some, some runners up for that top three category apple you know try to buy as much as you can apple has been doing very very well it's gotten a little more sell-off than you and i would like you know sold off about fifty dollars per share but this is a good opportunity buy some hold it and let let this thing ride um but overall guys you know another company that i'm buying is tesla here tsla good one here under 700 bucks but overall guys that is it i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did, these are, these are the top stocks that I am buying for defense in my portfolio. We will see you guys later. Remember to stay happy, stay positive, and stay safe. Take care, everyone.